Here is my passage. It is from the fourth scene found on page 72. First, some context. The night before, Stella and Stanley had a conflict in which Stanley hit Stella. But everything is forgotten and at the end of the night when Stella runs back into Stanley's pleading arms, Blanche, horrified it, watches this whole episode and is worried sick about Stella. She tries to convince Stella that she can get out of her situation, but Stella insists that she is not in anything she wished to get out of. Blanche continues to try to convince Stella to leave, but Stella is firm. She is happy. It doesn't matter it doesn't matter whether or not Blanche understands, because all that matters to Stella is her relationship with Stanley. Blanche puts a name to it, Desire, and compares it to the streetcar of the same name. Stella asks whether Blanche has ever ridden on that streetcar, and Blanche admits that she has. That is what, what it brought her here. Stella tell, tells her to stop being so superior in that case, but Blanche still thinks such emotions are stuff of brief affairs, not of marriage and a life. For Blanche, desire is something to be dressed up in a lace and perfume and hidden from sight. It certainly exists in her life as one of the driving forces that brought her downfall, but never as boldly as with her sister and her brother-in-law. The only man Blanche has ever loved was her husband, but due to incompatible sexualities there could not, there could not have been any passion. Blanche has never experienced this loveful love, but only calculated lust and virtuous love. It is something foreign to her, something animal, and she fears it but is drawn to it just the same. So Blanche gives this speech to Stella, degrading Stanley and making it clear to Stella how Blanche really feels about him. Now, for the actual passage. Blanche compares Stanley to an ape, a wild animal, that only recurs to his basic instincts. She shares her opinion that he is a common and a brute, and how Stella, a sophisticated woman that she is, would wait for him. Blanche is genu genuinely horrified. This atmosphere of shock and misunderstanding, almost scolding, that Blanche has for Stella is shown throughout the passage, showing her utmost disapproval of Stanley. They have this discussion in the Kowalski's apartment in New Orleans, set in 1947. The characters in this passage are Blanche, who is the only one who speaks, also making her the narrator in first person, because she is the, she is the one giving the speech to Stella. Blanche is obviously referring to Stanley during this speech. The passage contains very, two very important themes. The first is cruelty. Cruelty, according to Blanche, is the only unforgivable crime. More specifically, Stanley's deliberate, deliberate cruelty against Stella and, and Blanche. She is lashing out at Stanley through Stella, knowing fully well that if Stanley hurt her, she might, he might ag react aggressively. But what Blanche doesn't know is that Stanley hears the whole speech, unseen by the women. But when he enters, he ironically grins at Blanche and embraces his wife. The second theme that is present within this passage is the primitiveness of Stanley. Blanche makes this theme clear by comparing him to an ape and a survivor of the Stone Age. She tries to convey this theme to Stella that, so that she will leave him, but it is clear to the audience now that Stanley's violent behavior only heightens Stella's desire for him. Now, regarding the form of the passage. The structure of this passage is concise. Blanche gives a speech that is fluid and without big pauses. The passage is one big paragraph, full of Blanche's insults and judgments against Stanley. The style of the passage is rich with imagery and metaphors, all of them referring to Stanley and comparing him to, a, to primitive men or wild animals such as apes. Blanche strips Stanley's characters down to its very foundations and makes them clear for Stella using imagery, almost painting a picture depicting Stanley as an abusive, simple man. Nonetheless, this makes Stella feel more attracted to her husband. Blanche's expectations are vain. Even though she feels that Stella could do a lot better than Stanley, than Stanley, in the sentence, and you, you here, waiting for him, Blanche places emphasis on the word you and waiting, trying to explain to his sister, to her sister, that she shouldn't be waiting for such a man. But the author makes Blanche makes Blanche use imagery and metaphors in the effort to make the reader, as well as Stella, understand that Stanley knows nothing about how to be a modern, sophisticated, or educated man. These uses of literary, literary devices have an effect on the reader. For example, the effect they had on me was that Blanche tries desperately to convey her message. She could be going straight to the point with Stella, but she is now desperate. This is what the author tried to convey with the use of literary devices.